Draw a sketch of the graph y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c, where a is larger than 0, b is smaller than 0, c is greater than 0, and ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0 has only one solution. Okay, now this question might confuse you if you look at it initially, but let's just go and see what are they actually asking me to do. Okay, so they first ask me to draw a sketch graph. Okay, now that literally means some type of graph. Now, graphs always have shape. Okay, graphs have sh has a shape, so it can be a straight line or a parabola or a hyperbola or a um, exponential function. So we have shape and then we have direction. So for example, is a straight line pointing upwards or downwards? Okay, a parabola can have a smiling parabola or a frowning parabola. And the hyperbola can look like this or like uh, this. Okay, etc. I'm not going to go into all of that. Okay, and finally, so we have shape, direction, and finally we have position. Position. Okay, now with these things considered, let's see what we actually have here. Well, what we do have is this expression, and that is the expression for a parabola. So this is going to be a parabola. The next question we ask is in what direction will this parabola um, show? Okay, will it be smiling or a frowning parabola? And according to the information given, A is positive. Now A, the leading coefficient, represents the directional coefficient. So it is positive, which means I'll end up going up, which means I will have this direction. And finally, position. And now, specifically for a parabola, there the position is represented by two points, the turning point and one other point. OK, so let's look at the turning point first. Now, the turning point happens on the symmetry axis. OK, now the symmetry axis is given by the formula. If I have this um, expression, it's given by the formula P is equal to minus B over 2A. Now we just want to know whether the symmetry axis will be on the positive side or on the negative side. So let's see. Well, first of all, this negative tells me it will be negative. But what about B? B is also negative, which means negative times a negative will be a positive. So I'll have a positive in the numerator. In the denominator, 2 is a positive. A, we already saw, is also positive, so the denominator will be positive and the final answer will therefore be positive. Okay, so if I scroll down, I'm just going to draw my symmetry axis anywhere I want to. Okay, there's my symmetry axis. And uh, now what about the turning point? The turning point is now where on the symmetry axis it turns. Let's assume, so I've got that shape, let's assume it turns here. Okay, if it turns here, I have a positive shape. There we go. I've got a positive shape. Now let's just see, does this satisfy the conditions that I have? Well, the one condition that I had, um, the next condition that I had, is that C should be greater than 0. Now what does C determine? Well, if we look at this expression, and let me write it out, if I have y is equal to ax squared plus bx plus c. And I want c alone, it means that's when x is equal to negative. Oh, I'm sorry, not negative, 0. When x is 0, that means on here. When x is 0, c must be greater than 0. And here I see that's not going to work. In other words, the y-intercept should be positive. This is not working, so let's just there we go, that's better. Now my y-intercept is positive. When x is 0, my y-intercept is greater than 0. Then this last condition, is this solution, does this have only one solution? So what do they mean by this? Well, this means when y is equal to 0, 
that means on the x-axis that's where y is equal to zero okay um, has only one solution means that the graph cuts the um, x-axis only once here we see we have a problem here we are cutting the y-intercept uh, the, the x-axis twice so that's not going to work we need to move it up a bit still twice still twice one two see one more there we go now we're cutting it once we have a positive shape a positive y-intercept a positive symmetry axis and we're cutting the y uh, the x axis only once which means that this will only have one solution and there we go that should be fine let's just see if we uh, if we took it up a little bit more okay they change that okay now we're not cutting it at all which means this thing will have no solution while it was here it would have had two solutions one solution no solution okay so let's stick to there and just enter the quick the uh, information they asked for the turning point the x coordinate is 2 the y coordinate is 0 and finally the y intercept is positive 2 there we go if we check that answer it should be correct